All right, so today we are going on a little bit of a trip. We just dropped some stuff off at Kohl's, uh, you know, Amazon returns, because that's what Kohl's is for, right? But anyway, we are taking a little trip to the Highlands. If the Highlands were in North Carolina and, you know, at a distillery slash farm called Mystic. This is just one of those quick little impulse trips that Amy and I thought we would enjoy, so she bought the tickets, and here we are at Mystic. Now, shout out to Mystic. It's a great venue. They've got some very friendly employees. Everybody was very helpful, and we just had a great time. So we decided to go ahead and eat lunch, since it was lunchtime and the lines were not long yet at the uh, food trucks. And that turned out to be a pretty good idea because the lines got pretty long. Next on the agenda was some Scottish music and dancing. Now, before that could start, we did have to wait for somebody who wanted to tap their keg. Actually, not a keg, it's a barrel or a cask. But they specifically uh, took part in making this barrel of whiskey, this cask of whiskey. And so they get to tap it every once in a while and actually get whiskey out of it. So we got to see that in action. <laughs> Now it was time to get serious. It was time to taste the whiskey. Now, Mystic makes bourbon whiskeys, and specifically I was interested in trying the cacao nib finished bourbon whiskey and the coffee finished whiskey. And I'll tell you, they definitely had a different flavor to them. And of course, it can't be Scottish Highland Games without some Scottish Highland Games, like Hammer Toss. And then they were throwing hay bales over a bar. That was exciting. And then of course, the old Caber Toss, which is a lot harder than it looks. And it looks pretty hard. And this is where things got really serious and dangerous and kind of disgusting. Haggis contest. Uh, we have two extra slots. If anyone wants to show up last minute, that's your chance. Two slots. If anyone else wants to try to eat five pounds of haggis. Okay, so each one of these plates here is five pounds of haggis. Okay, these guys have five minutes to eat as much as they can. Bob Platt. I'm from my mother. Mark Zimmerman from Frogsboro. Chris Heller from Franklinton. Do you know what you win if you go first? Five pounds of haggis. My name is uh, Ben Torres. I'm from Lexington, Virginia, and I did not want to get my shirt there. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. From Lake Forest. Yeah, it's cold. Uh, Matt Parker from Raleigh. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Anybody? Suck it up! Okay, guys, we're gonna get started in three, two, one, go! There can only be one. Holy shit!
He has to jump in the pond. So that was the end of the Highland Games for that day. And thank you to Mystic for such a great time. Uh, we truly enjoyed ourselves. And though this was the end of our day in the Highlands, it was not the end of this day because we decided we'd go ahead and stay in Durham for the night. And so we booked one of our favorite hotel brands, Aloft by Marriott. There's one right there in downtown Durham by Deepak. Now, we love Durham. We just like the fact that it's um, interesting and there's so much art, there's so many things to do. And quite frankly, it's a great place to shoot video and take pictures. And of course, that's what we like to do. So, what was your favorite thing about the Highlands Games today? So, I would have to say watching the cutie patootie little kids do their Highland dances. Oh, yes, absolutely. Insert B-roll here. And watching grown men try to throw trees. And hammers. Except they weren't hammers, they were more like weights at the end of PVC. Not PVC. It had to be like steel or something. I don't no, know. No, they were flex. I, well, I don't know. They I were flexible. Know. It was crazy. And the one guy threw it 109 feet. It was insane. Yep, but you know, hey, it was a good time. You got to see your bestie. I got to see my bestie. Yep, who we actually get to see again next weekend because we go camping. Yes. And awesome. there was free whiskey, which I don't even like. I wasn't gonna mention that part, but yes, yes, it wasn't was, bad. There was free whiskey. And um, yeah, it was just Awesome. Fun. It was a good time. Yes. Kiss for the camera. Mwah. And me. This is the thing we wanted to see? Yes, the wall. Yes, the wall. It's a wall. It's a pretty wall. Shut up. It's a wall. It's a pretty building until it's an ugly building and then someone decided to fix that by painting part of the wall so that it would be pretty again. It's a wall in honor of Honduras. Which kind of makes it even more perplexing here in Durham, North Carolina. It's pretty and I like it. Yeah, I just wanted to see how this would sound with this microphone being unidirectional and just obnoxious waterfall sounds behind me. So, what do you think? Good? Bad? Is it any different like that? Because now we're got, we have full waterfall effect behind me now. Oh.